Never mind, here we go. Raid, capture the flag. How do you think this one's going to go down there, Bryce? I think Tommy I think, I is think going to go absolutely massive in this I one. Do think, I think this might be Millennium now. I do feel like if they've got that win... They've only got two maps now to win. One of them is going to be a capture the flag, of course, if they, should if they win it, of course, and then it will be hard point. That's a guaranteed what you will be seeing. It certainly is now. Let's go on board with Tommy. First of all, you believe he's going to smash. Let's see if he can live up to the Gucci prediction. We're on board with Tommy now. He's just going to look over at that top left area. It's interesting to see two players actually push down this left-hand side. Normally you only see one literally just go to the back and hold it. But both Tommy and Kynes have pushed right through. They're trying to catch them unawares now. Necrom on that back area has been taken down by Tommy. Tommy's just having a quick look into Kitchen. Nobody's presenting themselves, but the flag has been pulled by expectation. Tommy does manage to take down Luke, but Scouse Lixity is there ready and waiting to clean that up. And what can Maxi do? Choke shots, unfortunately, in the back. And where has he gone? Has he got away? Somebody flies out of Tiki oh. Hook. Maxi again. Unable to get the kill. This is going to be a very early quick cap from expectation. Someone's Looks as there. As it will be. Who's going to be there? No, Rob. No. Oh, oh, my God. Carnage getting absolutely destroyed by Rob's there as he manages to capture that flag and get the turn on. What a start from expectation. 1 0 up in under a minute, Bryce. Certainly is. However, they are really willing and away. Carnage needs to make this kill. The guy's the other side. He doesn't see him. This could be bad. Oh, Luke going clutch. Carnage needs to go and get this one. No. Carnage didn't see him. He didn't see him. And that's it's just going wrong at the moment for Millennium. Or is everything just going right for expectation as Necrome once again is pulling a flag. He's opting for this right hand side. See somebody behind him. Oh, oh my God. My God. God. No. How have you just done that, Necrome? Oh, and he's going to run straight in towards his basketball court. Is there anybody else in position to actually prevent this flag capture? No, there isn't as they go 2-0 up. Everything is just falling straight into expectations. Hands, unfortunately, though, he has got his RCXD car still on in his score streaks. That's the only problem for him. But I'm sure they're not too bothered about that as they are currently 2-0 up. Riskin needs to come big here and get this flag home. I can't believe it. You don't expect that many failures in a match like this. However, they have actually got it back now. And they're going to make it 2-1. We could be seeing an incredibly high-scoring game in this one. I'm going to have a quick look at the scoreboard. And it's... I, oh, I don't know what to say, Gooch. That was incredible. I mean, he missed him, first of all, and the turn on. And oh, it's just incredible how that can happen in a game like this at this level. But we're going to jump on board with Alexi at the moment. 2-1 so fast. Such a high-paced game. I spoke earlier on live stream about this map in particular, and it can often go nil-nil, and people actually play for the stalemate. However, that has not happened here. Expectations have come out all guns blazing, so to speak. And we're going to flick on board with Carnage, see how Millennium can get themselves back into this. There's still two minutes 20 left to play on this first side. And yeah, now on board with Carnage. Need to see what he can do after getting turned on earlier. They're going to try and put some serious work in now. And it does seem like Millennium determined to right the wrongs and are pushing very, very hard against this expectation lineup. Yep, the Zebra player over on his right. He bows down, pokes back up. Knew he was going to challenge, but Lixity, why have we switched to the infused reaction of what's going on there? Obviously, there is a massive crowd here on the main stage, so they've opted to watch it from our EGL central screen. I actually think TCM are about to play Prophecy as well on the, um, the game over there, which could be quite interesting. They're playing for fifth and sixth, respectively. But Tommy actually doesn't manage to make that kill. And uh, a little bit of trash talk going across. However, that flag has actually got away, but it's going to be stopped there by Luke. Stopping it, kind of managed to get it away because he did try and turn around and challenge someone. Unfortunate. And it does seem like we could be going for the long haul in this one. Five more maps for expectation to win this. It is going to be the long grind here on EGL 10 live stream, guys. Brought to you in Sheffield here for the Summer Championship. As it is looking as if expectation are going to be pulling another flag. There was three of them pushed up there, and they're going to run it the same route once again down that pool side. There's nobody really stuck in place to actually defend that, but Riskin has been able to pull that flag away, and they've done the exact opposite down the other side of the map now. As Tommy just gets taken down by Lixty. Stalemate playing into the hands of expectation. But there's only 45 seconds left to go. If they're going to do anything, someone needs to make a massive play. Carnage has actually been spotted, so he's going to drop. Let's go on board with the guy from Expectation, who is going to make a play to try and get this flag back. He does have to go through, at the moment, three players. I think he's just going to wait. I think he's playing this very, very calm. 
Yeah, he knows that that is playing into their hands, of course, with them being 2-1 up. They don't need to be making the unnecessary pushes, feeding the streaks. Carnage, of course, straight off the spawn, did just manage to pick up one kill, so that wasn't going to be too costly for the feeding of the streaks. We're only 15 seconds left on that clock. Are we going to be seeing a capture? I don't think either team will want to risk it. I know that for a fact that uh, neither team are actually going for this now, so that's no, going not. to be 2-1 in at the half. Let's bring up the scoreboard real quick, Bryce. Let's have a quick little recap. We've got Tommy Top fragging once again for Millennium there, 12 and 9. I just can't believe the first couple of minutes the of that first game. Two and a half minutes, three minutes were absolutely incredible, Bryce. Well, just serious plays going on and people missing shots they should. And you know what? This kill actually here, if we were, when we flicked over to Tommy briefly, I think the, uh, the actual parasol blocked his vision for a second that he wasn't expecting. Yeah, exactly. It sort of got into his face, wasn't able to see his opponent straight ahead of him. But now. Who are we going to go on board with? Do you think we'll see um, the expectation line up play this a little bit more defensively with them having the 2-1 lead, or do you think they'll continue their game? I think game they're going to go for it. I think they're still going to be quite an aggressive play from expectation as they move forward. I'm actually on board with Robs now. Let's see what he can do. Stick to what they know and what they're good at. What is Robs going to be able to do in this kitchen area? Seen somebody retreat. He's going to go for the look over jump up. Does come head on head with that play. That was risking. Does get the better of him. Sees a player off the spawn over on that back laundry area. Cooks his Semtex a few times before Carnage manages to get the better of Rob's around that flag capturing area. Tommy's actually in deep in their flag. There are three of them around oh. there. Oh, Tommy almost managed to get that turn around and jump shot. Wasn't able to. And it does look like Millennium going to put the pressure on once again. On board with Carnage. Looks like he's going to go through the middle to the zigzag. Can he see anyone? Riskin picks up a kill. Need to make maybe one or two more kills before they can do this. And they have done. Trophy system also down. Smoke is in. It's going to be a pull here. Look at the flag they have, they've got it away, they need to get the cutoffs now. Riska needs to make that one, he does. And that's just it, there is a one player who can possibly do something. It is Luke, if they can get past him. Let's have a look, what can Luke do? Is Tommy going to run the strength to his hands? Yes he is, Luke needs to check. Oh, oh he's left, he just managed to pick one. him up. Where is Tommy, is he going to challenge? Oh, no, he picks up Carnage, where is Tommy? Not going to be able to pick oh. him up before he captures that flag. Not going to be able to stop that, so that is going to bring it to 2-2. Two -two. So close there, if he had made that I probably would have just thrown the controller into the crowd and let them control it. <laughs> just ridiculous. But there you go, that flag is actually away again. Rob's pulling it, but he's been pulled by the opposite team as well. They're just pulling flags everywhere. Running flags for days. This is like league play for these two teams, just running straight up, getting on the flag, pulling it as soon as they can. And now we're on board with Kanji, who's going to go in hunt of that flag. Tommy actually goes down, so he's not going to be able to return this, risking... Fighting the shield at the moment for his teammate, picks up one. There is another player there who could do something. We'll go on board with Luke. He does have to go through three players at the moment. Decides not, not that way. He's now going to also call out, who is that? Probably Tommy. Tommy's trying to play clutch. He's actually going to come back and cover. Yeah, he's going to run all the way back. Tommy has just made a oh! clutch. Tommy! Oh. So close there. Now we're going to go on board with Necrome. Very so, so, it's so close. Both teams going into a stalemate once again. I think there's not any stalemates in a while. Picks up one. So you're going to pick up Tommy as well. Necrome already picked up one down this right-hand side in that pool area. Sees another one fly towards him. That was going to be Tommy. Tommy got the better of him. They're catching him unawares. And let's have a look as Tommy just goes down. Let's see who's in a position to actually do something and go and get a flag return. We're going to be watching Luke for this one. He has got good eyes here. He's waiting with patience. Oh, he saw someone. Oh. Well, he saw him. Risk him, saw him too. They're just sending Tommy out. They're the person they're sending out at the moment to try and make a play here. Tommy's not able to 